Hello.
Hello, good afternoon, Ba. Hmm. Friends, sir, please join me. Sir, the remaining student, sir. Yeah. Remaining student, sir, join me. Sir, please come. Hello. Hello. Ah, okay, good morning. Hello. Ah, okay, good morning.
हेलो हेलो संजय गांधी Vice Principal Dr. Chandramohan Sir, and Gandhi Sir, and our faculty members, Dr. Sir, 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 Dr. S
continue the session, sir. Sir, as you can you can continue the session, sir. Yeah, good, good afternoon, uh, dear all. I hope you can able to see my screen. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Once again, uh, good afternoon to all, uh, one and all uh, gathering here. I am very much happy uh, to involve this session. And uh, thanks for Nyanamani institutions to giving me this great opportunity to transform the knowledge to the young engineers. So today, uh, like we are uh, going to discuss about the castings, the sand castings or whatever the process it may be. Generally, we are talking about the castings, like how they are produced. Now, in the recent technology, uh, in the foundry, how much you know, like the revolution when the when the uh, technology improves in all other field. In the similar way, how the technology has been increased or improved in the foundry industry. So, as you know very well, being a mechanical engineer, foundry is you know like a mother of mechanical engineering. So that how the castings are being you know produced, you will be getting a fair idea when you, you know during the completion of this guest lecture session. So before that, I would like to show you uh, the magma engineering. Uh, how it works. It is basically a mechanical software uh, company that it will be using uh, for the foundry industry as well as the research and development uh, you know, teams to get a good idea about the castings and wherever the uh, stress and the strains and the uh, elongation bending may occur before the production. So, the, the software mainly tells us like before the production, if you come to know where the defect mainly occurs, then it is very easy. You can able to diagnose those defect, arrest those defect before the products being manufactured. So you can able to save a lot of you know cost, time and the manpower, uh, energy, everything. So the introduction about the magma it is basically a german based technology our headquarters is there in the germany in aachen apart from that you can see in the screen uh, globally our offices wherever it is uh, let's say for example we have offices in usa brazil turkey and singapore korea especially in india you can see uh, it is situated in hyderabad so this is uh, the, the evolution and the journey of MagmaSoft. So since 1988, see this is how uh, the company has uh, you know, traveled. So uh, there will be a releases. When you uh, see the releases, like everything or uh, the, the importance or the physical property of the material is not available or not ready. So whenever the technology improves uh, like year by year, then only the, the informations or the physical properties of the particular materials, the data, informations, everything we can able to find or we can able to you know, uh, uh, create it, generate it through the research and development, then we can like able to incro incorporate in the uh, softwares. So this is how our journey, you can see like every year, like some or the other research and development will be keep moves on and will be implementing inside the softwares. So now at the moment we are into like release of 5.5 version, uh, the Magma soft is running. 
the customers worldwide who are all using the magma software that uh, you can able to see in the screen like rd bmw uh, caterpillar john deere volvo so a lot of you know like uh, most of the pioneer companies are using our software to uh, you know like predict or or uh, generate the castings uh, in 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 a good quality methods if you come to the india so you can see uh, bajaj then craftsman tata motors and the ashok leyland ford so there are many companies are using this software to uh, to to produce the castings without defect so this is our uh, organization structures so there will be a different departments will be carrying i am uh, the one taking care of ferrous castings and as well as academy part in all over india the head office is there in hyderabad so we will be like sitting at hyderabad and throughout india we will be supporting all our customers whoever uses the magma software so whenever they need helps we will be like touching them and uh, you know continuously supporting them the academy license magma soft has also a academy license this is like worldwide the universities are you know like uh, using for research and the collaboration uh, purposes so these are all the companies you know like uh, tie up with us and uh, you know for their day to day uh, you know work uh, for the research and collaborations like audi man ford so they are all also using like as well as you know like their uh, day to day work purpose and the new invention or innovation purposes okay come to the casting part generally uh, the casting will be there everywhere even in our regular life also we are using it let's say for example in our home there will be like lock on the door then pan then tabs so all over all over the places like we will be using uh, the cast pots when you come to the industry you can see the fan fan blades and the turbines in even in the you know railway components pipe fittings everywhere there will be a castings so like without castings like there is no uh, world even uh, the automotives we will be like having the uh, brakes and engine parts everything will be made up of casting part so such a, a castings or such a application day to day applications of castings so it should be you know like quality one uh, let's uh, assume it like we are traveling in the car or lorry or, or any of the you know automotives so uh, you know like in the speed of like around 150 or 170 speed so if you wanted to apply brake immediately the caliper brake caliper should access your you know like your operation and it has to activate immediately then only you can able to apply the brake then uh, the it it, it grasp the wheel the brake caliper grasping the wheel and you it will be reducing your speed in case if the brake caliper is you know like defective one you are going uh, you know like up to 100 mm uh, 100 km speed it will be like you know sustaining somehow if you, you know uh, traveling much more speed when you apply the brake suddenly it may not able to sustain you the sudden uh, speed of 150 km so uh, if it is a defective one it will broken out then the car will not be stopped then it will be hit somewhere else so that is why like before producing any kind of castings it is very much important we need to ensure the quality of the casting before that like metallurgy is your casting is you know like made up of metal as you know very well so for that like metallurgy is the very important uh, you know play, play role so metallurgy is an art and science of extracting metal their ores so it also you know con concerns the chemical physical and atomic properties so everything will be like combined then we will be forming as a casting so where the casting being generated 
so it is like simply we are giving the shapes to the metal so uh, that uh, the place is called foundry we can uh, you know metallurgy we can able to divide into two parts is like um, ferrous and non ferrous ferrous is mainly like you know like involving of uh, iron iron and the steel whereas the non ferrous you know like involving of you know alloy alloy uh, components or alloys we can say simply so coming to the casting processes like you can there are many ways to you know produce the castings as you can see here sand casting method is there then last foam investment casting die casting there are many uh, you know difference of in the die castings like high pressure die casting low pressure die casting gravity die castings then again in ingot castings centrifugal continuous castings in any any you know like casting processes you can see the general you know process flow the the very initial stage we will be like making the pattern then again uh, there will be molding shops then again core making will be there then again we used to melt the metal because you know like the solid conditions generally the metal will be there in the atmospheric that we need to remelt it then we need to you know pour into the you know desired uh, shapes in the cavity we are allowing to cool then we will be shaking out the mold then we will be like giving the heat treatment to achieve the desired properties then if it is any small small problems or defects so we used to do welding then again cleaning the cast component inspecting in uh, uh, like any utrt there are a lot of methods then finally we'll be dispatching for the day to day applications so nowadays you know like uh, the the design process has become more complex why because like day to day we could able to see the component or design of the you know 3d models or, or designs of the components becomes complicated so if you wanted to do casting like as it is so there are many challenges you know like straight away we are going to shop floor then again producing the casting it gives you know like more expansive taking more time so the for that the new technology helps you know like before generating the casting in the real time so we can able to you know uh, in the software itself like the the right approach a right method we can able to predict it then we can you know move to shop floor then we can produce the cast component in in a regular way so for that magma soft is the you know is a simulation software you can able to you know check the casting uh, production how it should be or how to avoid the defect or what defect we may expect in the cast parts you know like uh, there are case studies that uh, we we are going to uh, you know look at then you will be understanding you know on the left side you can see the metal already melted we are transferring uh, from the furnace to the ladle ladle is something called bucket you know from the you know we are taking the metal then we are carrying and pouring into the mold boxes on the right side you can see inside the mold we are pouring the metal then wherever the cavities are there so the metal you know travel and it, it gets filled once the temperature losses then uh, the metal becomes solid so whatever the you know uh, the the designs or whatever the shapes we are into the mold at, that will be represented in the casting as well on the right side you can see a uh, one end we are pouring it i mean on the left side uh, in the packet uh, we are we are taking the melted metal that we are carrying and pouring into the mold and it fills you can see here like on the uh, left side top corner 
we just pour the metal we are bringing the you know liquid metal and we are pouring it what we can be able to see outside is only mold the metal is pouring inside in the hole it is you know traveling inside the mold it is it is getting filled but really we cannot be able to understand or we cannot be able to see metal is traveling you know filling completely the mold or it is only half way filled or you know uh, what temperature it is whether it is getting cold and becoming solid so what type of problem is occurring inside the mold that we cannot able to see during the production of uh, you know real time castings because on the left side uh, top corner you know image shows very clearly we can able to see how we are doing pouring inside what is happening we cannot able to see so for this you can see in the software like we just pouring inside you know there are cavities it is getting filled at what temperature it is getting filled what are the defect may arise those things we can able to you know uh, check it because along with the metal there will be a air there will be oxidations then there will be a metallurgical related defects or segregation stresses then the crack may generated the during solidification so to check these things like the 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 software is very much mandatory uh, then before you know protection of the castings we can able to identify or we can able to expect where the problems may occur you know whenever we do casting manufacturing there will be a generic issues you know like the feasibility and uh, you know more shaft flow trails will be there you know like uh, the difficult to uh, you know meet the expected specifications lack of technical expertise insufficient infrastructures there are a lot of you know uh, issues are there uh, we need to like consider these things as well uh, while while generating the castings or manufacturing the castings so in that way you know uh, as much as possible the casting simulation will be a good tool it will be helping us you know to understand the casting feasibility and the you know avoiding the defects so importance of simulation you can see there are theories because of the theory uh, and the other stuff like the the you know simulation software has been you know made by the algorithms with the soft floor help okay for the simple concept or simple example uh, which i would like to give you why is we are using the software uh, for the day to day casting applications you know like whenever you know uh, if there is a pilot immediately he can't able to you know like uh, you know uh, drive the uh, flight because there will be a highly risk uh, involved highly complex as well so in the initial stage the pilot he will be using the simulator how how it should like get fly off i mean take off how it, it should be landing or which location like uh, you know he need to take right and left and which angle he has to fly or which height he has to fly everything there will be a simulator because it is minimizing the risk because the everything is like just a virtual uh, things after getting some knowledge about the you know pilot uh, work this thing then only he will go he will be like you know straight away taking off the flight the similar way you know like straight away we are going and producing the casting we will not come to know where the defect may occur or what kind of defect we can expect where the crack comes or where the shrinkage or porosity comes so before that before generating the casting we can able to simulate in the computer then we can able to analyze where we can you know expect the defect how to avoid the defect and so on so for that purpose we are using the simulation so simulation is you know helping generally to improve the quality improve the productivity the process reliability will be there you know uh, there will not be any deviations and mold dimensions pattern 
and where to provide the feeders, at what temperature we need to pour the metal, by that the entire cavity will be filling inside. So those informations we will be getting through simulations. Now, whatever the work we proceed, there will be a flow chart. As you can see in the screen, this is the like project execution pro processes. Like generally, we will be proceeding with the same manner. In the initial stage, we will be doing planning for the particular uh, cast product. Then we'll be uh, there will be a design and development will be there. Again, the second stage of uh, you know process design and development will be there. Then again, uh, there will be a pilot phase. Pilot phase in the sense. You know the single casting we used to produce and we will we used to cut and check is there any defect inside or not so everything what is behind the screen so uh, what is there in the simulation so behind the screen there are a lot of research and development uh, you know um, has happened and all the algorithm we have taken based on the you know physical pheno of uh, phenomena of the fluid flow heat transfer thermal stresses so all the physical you know informations has been keened our algorithm has been you know incorporated in the in the simulation software and also it is you know containing the lot of formulas like navy navy strokes loss of conversion of mass momentum and energies so these are the things will help to predict or will help to calculate really what has happened or what may happen inside the you know mold during filling or, or filling what are all the you know fundamental uh, things are helping you know navier stokes equations continuity equation energy equation so these are the things like it will be helping uh, for uh, filling uh, behaviorals the similar way for solidification, the thermal conduction equation will be helping much more. And where the stress is more in the casting, where we can expect the cracks or bending in the casting. So these things we can you know, we can be able to predict through equilibrium equations. So these are all the equations like behind the software it uses. The conventional metal me method you can see initially we will be you know um, preparing the pattern then we will be like placing uh, the feeders and running systems everything then we will be like producing the casting then we used to cut the casting if any problem occurs inside the casting or something crack happen in the casting or, or some, some unexpected some inclusions will be there the metal will not be formed uh, as it is so these many problems we were facing in the conventional method since we are using you know the recent technologies like cad gender cad cad methods and cam methods and the simulations you know like based on these you know new trend and technology we are minimizing the defect and minimizing the rejections While, while pouring the metal casting into the mold cavity, there are a lot many problems we can able to expect like, you know, uh, metallurgy related distortion will be there, the segregation, convection. So these are the like technical words, uh, the metal during the liquid condition it contains. So now uh, we are going to a real case study of one, anyone. So generally, you know, uh, the, the, the mold and the inside the cavity will be something like this. This is for like uh, applicable in the sand casting. What are all the things required for the simulation? So what type of metal as we you know discussed earlier, there are different, uh, you know, metals and grades are there based on the applications. So uh, non-ferrous metal and ferrous metal then again, you know, iron casting will be separated and the steel casting will be separated. What type of metal we are going to pour that we need to, you know, enter into the software. Then the temperatures, then uh, what are all the uh, times we are following to fill the entire mold? How, may, how long we are allowing to solidify the metal? So these things we need to keen inside the software. 
So generally the output result in the software, you can see the filling related, the solidification related and heat treatment as well as metallurgical. So these many you know, output results, we will be getting it from the software. So uh, let's go with one case study. It's a real time case, case study. You can see uh, the this is actually brake caliper. So how to produce or generally uh, in 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 day to day uh, foundry how they are producing the castings. So this is only casting that they will be like machining and they will be placing. <laughs> On the first uh, video, see there is a metal. See there is a metal in the first video that the pouring cup is, you know, like taking the metal. Everything will be like robotic conditions. Sorry. On the second video, you can see they are bringing and pouring into the cavities or die. So the metal will be like keep going inside. It is completely filled. The die is completely filled. On the third image, see it. <coughs> After solidification, we just open the die and we are removing the you know, cast part out and we are making it cool. So this is actually the cast part. Now, uh, you know, like without uh, involving of the simulation straight away like we have you know uh, created the dye mold then we have melted the metal we have poured it we are like it is ready for the casting then it is coming out then further cutting machining everything will be taking place so as you know that like the feeder will be like unnecessary part in the casting after producing the casting we will be like removing the castings uh, sorry uh, feeder so this is the one uh, which we have seen now. So the metal will be uh, liquid metal will be poured here. Then again, it will be tilted. The entire setup will be tilted. So the metal will be like coming inside and filling wherever the gap is there. So after machining, we could find there are a lot of defects in the casting, which is not accepted. <coughs> you can see there are like cut pieces there are like uh, small small dots and the there are big uh, holes and the x-ray inspection also shows there are defect you know the metal we have you know poured and tested is like aluminum metal and the temperatures and the dye material what it is so everything all the technical informations are there in front of you so this is in the uh, you know simulations we have tested it the same why the problem is coming how to solve it now without you know simulations if we gone through the production straight away like we may end up with the uh, defects so like whatever you have done the all the work becomes zero there is no output at all so before the production if we like use the simulation softwares we can ensure that the casting quality before production so this is temperature we can able to you know check it where the temperature is less where the temperature is high all the informations we will be getting it then you can see the porosity predictions. So in the simulation itself, software itself, we are cutting the component and we are sectioning and we are checking it. It shows there is a problem.
so on the right hand uh, right side you can able to see the simulation output results and the left hand and the middle one you can see the actual production so simulation wherever it shows the defect it reflect the real castings so you know always before going to the production if you check with the simulation we might have avoided you know like uh, these many problems now we have in this casting we have done melting pouring we have prepared the dye then uh, you know like all the process we have done lot of manpower lot of electrical power then uh, we have machined also finally it becomes you know waste because it contains the defect so the our all the our effort is waste so uh, what we suggest is like before going to the real castings so it will be better then we can go to the simulation we can ensure the quality of the casting then we have modified the feeders to to you know uh, avoid the defects the old version you can see uh, like 14.6 seconds we were filling up the cavity but in the new uh, you know modified versions in 8 seconds we have filled the casting and you can see the cut section of old and new designs so we have avoided the problem or we have avoided the defect so this is how you know like uh, the software helps us so the another case study we are going to see that it's a last form uh, process i just skip this thing okay fine now there are like many various or many variables we can able to give for example uh, there are you no know, lot more ways we can able to produce the castings so now we are into the last form uh, processes again we can able to change the temperature and pouring methods there are a lot of machining allowances where to give and the cooling rates we can increase or reduce to you know solidify uh, faster so there are a lot of parameters uh, we can able to you know give and also we can able to ensure the quality criteria and the objectives as well you can see this is the process chart for the last form you can see the step 1 where we have the pattern uh, made up of foam then we are like clustering like in a single cavity we can able to make it like two three components together then we are dipping which means we are doing coating we can make it drying then the compaction above that coatings we are like sticking the sand then uh, we will be like uh, pouring during pouring that you know foam will get melted then wherever it melts or wherever the foam is formed that will be melted and the cast metal will be fill up those you know volumes and finally it gets solidified then we get castings similar to the past pattern you can see on the right side the pattern as well as the casting below the white color visible is the foam that is pattern on the top it is casting here in the simulation yes all the you know technical data we have entered into the software then we are like making fill we can able to understand up to what temperature it is like losing finally what is the initial temperature we are maintaining where the temperature loss happens if the temperature loss happens also till the liquid region or liquidus region or semi solid region the temperature is so all the informations we will be getting uh, through the software before going to the real uh, castings so this is solidification once we you uh, know poured the liquid metal after that you know slowly it becomes cool whenever the metal gets cool it becomes solid so this is how it happens here so you know like we found that the 
there are something defect is predicted in this same uh, cast part then we have approached in the different way like the pouring what we are doing the pouring is one is 37.5 seconds the the another one the same uh, you know bunch we are pouring till 75 seconds we are extending the you know pouring temperature time and the pouring temperature also we have changed one is 1550 and the same bunch if we pour the metal with 1650 degrees celsius what happens at that time the the uh, filling uh, will be good or bad so how the quality will be so those things we we wanted to check it so you know like there are many variables we have incorporated here and we are produce uh, you know processing the output in the in the scatter chart we are getting it so whatever the designs we have poured with 37 seconds and whatever the uh, designs we have poured with 75 seconds that is in front of you so you can see whatever uh, you know we have processed with 37 seconds you now how about the result output there are defect inside the castings when we pour with 75 seconds yes even though there are you know problems so still we need to you know like um, change the process variables to get the right castings so this is how like we will be like continuously working changing the methods changing the approaches till we get the quality castings so the same similar so again the same uh, the carbon is you know like the coating thickness we have changed so what is the output so those informations we will be getting through this scatter chart which is having less porosity and which design or which you know variables having more uh, porosities on the things this is just um, you know like output of the graphical way so which are all the things affect uh, you know the strong effect what the variable changes which you know like uh, we can be able to improve the result so in in the form of curve we can able to understand so the another case study it is for uh, steel castings you know the second diagram you can able to see the filling happens we are pouring inside the mold so the filling happens the other one is like the solidification happens finally the feeder you can able to see feed the metal to the casting to get the quality castings so this is how you can see uh, you know the filling how it happens normally so this is a steel casting on the right side the scale shows us the temperature you can uh, compare the temperatures with the um, flow metal where the temperature is more and where the temperature is less so we have found that there are the high velocity found that so always like the more velocity is not good uh, to produce the castings because you know there will be a lot of turbulences there will be a lot of sand erosions uh, then um, and other uh, things may appear and i mean to say there will be a defect so here we found that the fountain effect you can see uh, the gate from the gate the metal enters into the cast pot so the fountain happens so generally it should not happen so these are the fountains in the real castings after producing the casting we came to know that yes because of these problems i mean uh, the velo high velocity and the fountain the problem occurs in the casting then we decided to change the running systems add the extensions and adding the gate changing the dimensions of the gate and other things now you can able to see there will be a smooth filling because only one side you know like uh, earlier only one side there were gate now we have increased the number of gates by that the velocity will be reduced now you can able to you know uh, feel it the the smooth filling the 
the comparison of new and old uh, methods. Now the casting gets good uh, after the machining. There is no uh, problem with this. This is something slag. Whenever you pour the metal, you know, there will be a slag incorporated. I mean to say, uh, you know, the, it, it is called actually pickups. Whenever you pour the metal, so it will be having contact with the atmospheric, you know, before, you know, entering into the runner bars. So that will be like uh, the oxygen pickup happens. So that pickup uh, will be, uh, you know, transformed as a slags or inclusions. So that will lead to the problem in the casting. So like proceeded with various, you know, like uh, inclusions under this thing, uh, the gating systems, you can see that there are two different methods we have approached it. You can uh, see at the yellow color on the right side, you know, cast image shows uh, there are a lot of inclusions whereas on the left side uh, uh, left side images shows very less inclusions so this is how like we will be like approaching in multiple methods multiple ways to get the quality casting to get good castings coming to the uh, stress crack and distortion predictions so these are the you know uh, examples for you to understand uh, how the what is casting what is the defect and so on you can see there are 3d model uh, of the cut sections and you can uh, see the defects in the castings see there are no metals filled so these are all like there will be cavities inside i mean surrounding of the uh, metal so this we generally say it is porosity so this kind of you know uh, castings will be rejected casting means not only uh, the defect shrinkage appears apart from that there will be a lot of you know defects like crack distortions cold crack hot air then high stresses and so on you can see the uh, 2d diagram on the left side so this is actually a cast part wherever the marking has done uh, you can able to see the blue and black uh, in the you know uh, joining of the fly uh, flies there are problems continuously where arising on the right side you can see on the uh, real cast part shows crack it has been you know marked arrow arrow and shown Continuously, there were a problem and casting were keeps rejecting. Then we proceeded in the simulation. Then exactly the simulation also shows the real time, uh, real casting defects. Then we have understood uh, like what to need, what to do or what is the next step to be performed on the casting or on the pattern to get the quality castings. So we have you know, increased the radius and we have tested in the uh, simulation itself and we realized that there are, uh, you know, that the, the cracks has been reduced. Then we, uh, you know, suggested uh, to the uh, casting uh, suppliers or casting manufacturers to go with uh, this uh, design aspect. Increase the radius in the particular location where you are facing the problem then the problem will be avoided. You can see the earlier uh, slides. This is the old method where they have uh, got problem. Then, you know, like after analyzing in the magma, then we have suggested the uh, modified one. Then the defect has been reduced. A similar way, other, uh, you know, components. There were problem. You can see the crack. And the same thing we have carried out in the simulations and we have suggested some other changes to do. Then 
you know the problem has been arrested and the other case study improving the design for quality on the right side top corner you can see the the simulation output result where the problem may occur it has shown in the four you know junctions the similar way in the real casting also you know the crack uh, faced in the same locations in uh, you know like 80 to 90 percentage of castings has been rejected then uh, you know approached magma then we have simulated it we have predicted the problematic location even the software shown exactly and what we have done is we have changed the designs methodings everything as you can able to see in the screen you know like we have approached in a different way i just played you can see uh, the design will be keep changing because you know the multiple way we have tried with to get the quality castings you know without any defects fine so you can see on the left side the original design means like earlier which we were facing the problem on the right side you can see the modified design so before going to the protection when we you know uh, analyze with the software we can you know avoid a lot of things like you know uh, the manpower then the uh, number of days like one, one casting you are producing it at the end of the day or after you know knocking out after machining after that final stage in the final stage if you come to know the prom, uh, the problem is there in the casting then whatever the work we have done on the casting is based so before you know producing the casting we can you know able to simulate and check in the virtual then we can go for the production fine the next case study you can see uh, it is a crankcase for audi audi car this is the v cylinder engine which is having six uh, six cylinder actually you can see the pouring how it happens now both are similar but the, the angle is different in the bottom what is happening during filling on the side a 3d uh, orientation what is happening that we are looking at on the right side the scale you can see uh, the temperature it shows fine the velocity of metal like the what is the metal speed it is uh, you know flowing and filling the cavity entire cavity that we can able to identify or understand here initially it was like around 2.8 meter per second this is the tracer we can able to identify whether you know like uh, the metal is circulating or turbulence happening those things we can able to identify through this result then it is a solidification where you know the liquid metal is converting into the uh, semi solid and by continuing continuing solid where the final you know uh, the solidification happens so those things we can able to identify the hot spot the final locations like you can see on the you know below image that where we can able to expect the problems in the engine that we can able to identify so these are the locations exactly the problem may arise for example you just imagine that when you cut the casting so wherever the yellow color points are available so those locations there will not be material there will be empty space then the other uh, factors like metallurgical related things the where the primary graphites are high and low then the eutectic phases 
then the nodularity graphite these are all the like mechanical and metallurgical properties the expected there should be a, there must be expected properties then only the functioning of the engine will be perfect without you know like uh, you know breaking or uh, without failing uh, the engine it will be performing well so the engs model is how much it is there inside the cylinder or outside the casting walls so those informations we will be getting um, through the magma software before going to produce the castings in case for example if you if we don't uh, achieve the desired properties then we can able to change the approaches similar way you can see uh, the yield strength how much in the engine inside and outside what is the stress level inside the castings whether it is like sustaining during functioning or it will you know break during the function so those things we can able to you know identify uh, before producing the castings so the beauty of uh, you know using the software uh, you can you can avoid the defects uh, before producing the real castings or, or to get the quality castings coming to magma academy magma software has academy as well like for the institutions yes we have the software for the industrial applications it is a modular based software like it is based on the process the software has been you know divided as a modular so the industrial uh, licenses will be available on chargeable basis whereas in the uh, for the academic institutions is not our commercial businesses even uh, you know like the academic licenses will be provided to the institutions which are aict approved so there should be an agreement between the you know institutions and the magma gmbh it is mandatory uh, so you can able to approach later uh, magma soft um, hyderabad if you would like to have the license at your place it is completely you know uh, free of cost the only thing is you know like the yearly uh, subscriptions uh, will be there so the objective of the uh, academy magma academy is like to enhancement the interpretation skills then you know like uh, to to improve the young students or young generations knowledge to their you know industrial uh, oriented so all other things there are much more uh, you know like uh, things are there inside the magma software what we have covered is like because of the time constraints so we could able to look at only uh, three or four case studies so apart from that like how the filling happens what is the stress criteria are incorporated what is behind the uh, software so everything like we could uh, you know um, able to discuss when uh, you go into the magma academy licenses yeah thank you thank you so much uh, for for your uh, spare kind cooperation and uh, spending time with us so i just would uh, like to stop my sharing Thank you, sir. Anybody having doubts, please ask to Engineer Ashok Kumar, sir. We are going to doubts. Sir, which one did you know? Salt get one. Okay. We are at the end of the session. Uh, thanks everyone who participated in this session we hope we have given an idea about metal casting which will help you 
for improving your knowledge about metal casting i thank our chief guest engineer ashok kumar for sharing their knowledge to us i thank our management and principal and other organizing for giving this wonderful opportunity to be a part of useful webinar thanks once again to all thank you sir thank you so much for the wonderful opportunity thank you uh, all dear uh, students okay sir thank you very much uh, students uh, kindly uh, fill that the feedback link and then submit so fill the feedback link and submit immediately so this should be considered for your approval session at the end so and also the feedback is very important to us okay so that uh, you have to fill it and then log out fill panting na log out panting na you have to open the link and uh, fill the details asked and then give the submit and then you can Thank you.